Hey Joe, it's folks here. I recently made this video where I revealed to you that I am starting a second print-on-demand store and I'm going to be documenting the process of me building it from scratch for you here on YouTube. And I have some exciting news. We actually made our first sale. I've barely done any marketing. The store is kind of not even really open. I've just posted a few times on social media, but we do have one sale. Someone paid $73 for one of the items on the store. In the video today, I'm actually going to show you the store and also take you through some of the other things I've been working on. If you're not subscribed as well, make sure to hit the subscribe button so as I grow this, you can follow along. And if you need help actually building out a print on demand store, make sure to check out my POD for Dummies course. It's completely free. There's a link down in the description. It has over 30 videos showing you how to build out your store. So, right now, like I said, the store is kind of open. I did place a pretty massive sample order. Yes, the screen is blurred. I'm not going to be revealing all of the designs. I basically ordered a whole bunch of samples and I've been working on building out the store. On the store right now, I've got about 50 or so designs in a couple of different niches. I've basically just been spending my time building out product pages, the home page, collection pages, and things like that. I've also built a few social media pages as well on Facebook and Instagram, and I've posted a few times. What I've done with the samples is actually taken a whole bunch of my own photos for social media as well as for the website. As we go through today, I will show you the final version of how the actual photos came out on the actual store. So far, I've ordered about $500 in samples of different designs that I have on the site. This is something that I have always done with print-on-demand stores. I started my first store in 2016. I'm not saying that you have to order samples, but basically with whatever store that I have ran in the past, I have always ordered some samples so that way I can have some real photos on the store. And yesterday I spent a little bit of time outside with some of the products, taking some close-up photos to use, like I said, on the store and on the website. And this here is one of the samples that I ordered for the store. This product is available from the T-Launch print-on-demand company. Like I said, when I introed this series in a previous video, talked about how first I'm starting with metal signs from T-Launch. I'm also going to be adding a lot of products from Printify as well through this series. I'll continue to show you what I'm uploading. In terms of the sample, I think everything came out really good. These metal signs are solid metal. They are very nice. They are very durable. You can see that there is a little bit of a bend here, but for the most part, this is a very high quality piece of metal. And this is what it looks like on the store. This is one of my product pages. In a future video, we'll likely do a breakdown about some of the different apps that I'm using here on the store. I just wanted to show you what this actual design looks like here. You can see that I've got this photo here. This is a mock-up that I made in AI. I will probably in a future video of this series, talk about how I'm using AI to generate really cool images to use as mock-ups. This image here is the final result of one of the product photos that I actually took. I've also got this one here as well and you can see that this adds a lot of value to the actual store. T-Launch is great. They do have some good mock-ups. I'm clicking through some of them now and ultimately these don't really mesh well with what I am actually selling. This specific design that I'm showing you is an address sign where someone can personalize it. They can enter their own street name, their own street number as well. T-Launch does have the one mock-up here that shows it at the front door, but for all of the other colors, obviously I needed to create my own to show it. So again, I'll just kind of click through the photos. You can see how I've set this up here. I've got the two photos that I took of the actual sample. I've got this one here showing the black color. I also created this image here as well, where it tells them exactly what it is they are personalizing. I included this image as well that shows the different colors colors and then I've got separate mock-ups for all of the different colors. T-Launch does offer this sign in a total of five colors. They have the black, the red, the white, the copper, and the silver and as I just showed you I do have custom mock-ups in here for every single design as well as the two photos that I actually took. Now every single design that I am selling on this store is a personalized design. As we continue to go through this series I will show you some of the things that I am using to actually do the personalization. In today's video, what I'm really just trying to do is introduce the store to you, show you one of the designs, talk about the first sale that I made and how I think I actually made it, and ultimately just sort of kick off the series. If you want to continue to follow along, make sure to subscribe. I'll give you a little bit of a tour of the store. You can see here that as we scroll down on the page, I have some descriptions in here about the actual product. As we continue to scroll, I also created this image here. This is a really nice photo that I took 
on my kitchen table of the sign. I also added the custom made address signs on the side. This is something that shows up on every single product page that I have for this type of product. So even if someone's looking at a different design, they will see this image here. And it really just adds a great branding touch. It shows like that the store is like real and that the product is there. And again, like I said before, you don't have to order samples, but when you do, you're able to use them in ways like this to really increase the branding on your actual website. As we continue to scroll down, we have a frequently asked questions portion here where I talk about some of the different things about the actual product. Again, as we continue to scroll, I've got another section here using three images that I used AI to actually generate. In a future video, I'll talk about the AI software that I'm using to do stuff like this, but again, it just further adds to the branding of the site, makes it feel like a real brand, and ultimately I'm excited about how it is actually coming along. And as we continue to scroll down, I do have some other products on here. Again, it is all blurred because I'm not showing everything on the store. Originally, I was going to, but a little part of me is nervous and I don't wanna reveal everything that I'm doing. Maybe a few months from now, I'll reveal the actual store and you guys will be able to see literally everything. But for now, I'm going to be giving you little bite-sized pieces during this series. For the store, like I mentioned before, I am using a .com and a .store domain. I will put a link in the pinned comment if you wanna get a great deal on a .store domain. I've talked about here on the channel before that a recent study showed that .store domains do enjoy more traffic, lower cost per conversion, and double the visibility on search engines. It found that these .store websites actually get 87% more traffic and a 12% lower cost per conversion on their ads. It also tells the person seeing it that they can actually buy things from you. At this point, there are over 1 million sellers that are using .store domains. People like Mr. Beast and more. If we scroll down, I think they have some more examples on here. Mariah Carey has her store on the .store domain. Also Rihanna, the Emirates Airlines, and a whole bunch more. Like I said, they have some information here about the study that was recently done that found those data points about .store domains. I have used .store a few times in the past and I will be using it in addition to a .com for this store. If you want to get your own .store domain name, like I said, I will put a link in the pinned comment of this post to get you a great deal on the first year of your .store domain. Really quick as well, this here is the homepage. Again, everything is blurred just because, again, I'm not gonna be revealing everything, but you can kind of see the general layout of the actual store as we scroll through. At this point, like I said, I've got about 50 designs on the store. I've made custom mock-ups, taken a lot of photos of a lot of the different products as I have been building it out, and ultimately, I think it is coming along very nicely. In this row here, I've got a nice little collection of product photos that I took. Again, I don't have samples of every single design, so the ones that I do have, I am taking my own photos and using them here on the homepage. And like I said, I've barely done anything in terms of marketing the store, and we do have our first order. It came in yesterday at about 8.30 at night. I was sitting on the floor in my living room playing Yahtzee with my wife, and all of a sudden I saw the phone light up and a sale came through. I'm not even really sure how they found the store because at this point, I like I said, haven't done much marketing at all. I have posted on social media. I've also been spending a lot of time reaching out to influencers. In future videos, I'll talk about how I'm actually using influencers to sell my products. I have partnered with about 10 people at this point where I'm actually going to be sending them samples. I have a few people whose samples are on the way to them right now, but one of them actually gave me a shout out on their Instagram account. They have about 20,000 followers and I ended up getting a couple hundred people to follow my account and maybe that's where the sale actually came from. I'm not quite sure, but we do have one sale in the books and I've barely done anything. Like I said, I have a social media page. I've posted on it a few times and I think it's a really great sign that we do have one sale in the books right now. And like I said, I'm selling print on demand metal signs. The one that was purchased for $73 was the 18 inch sign. Again, through the T-Launch app, the 18 inch sign ships for $12.50. It also has a base cost of $31.50. So it's roughly about $44 in terms of the actual cost. With the shipping, I am offering free shipping on the product and they paid 73 and change for it. So some pretty good profit on that, right? About $30 or so. I and mean, ultimately, I think that's gonna help as I'm growing the store, as I begin to get into influencer marketing, I'm gonna be offering commissions on the sales. I'm also gonna do a lot with paid ads as well, but definitely a good sign that we have one sale in the books and I haven't really done anything to promote the store. And like I said, in future videos, I'll talk about how 
I've actually got personalization set up here on the actual store. I'll talk about some of the other apps I'm using like this one here to tell people when they can expect the actual product. I just wanted to introduce the store today, show you some of the behind the scenes of me actually getting some product photos on here and ultimately kick off the series. As we continue to go through, like I said, I'll be taking you along as I launch ads, as I communicate with influencers. At some point, I'll take you into my email account and show you some of the messages that I've been sending to people and some of the conversations that I've been having. Like I said, when I introduce this series here on the channel, my goal with this is to sort of document success with print on demand for you. So hopefully this is enjoyable. Let me know down in the comments if it is, because if this is something that you don't really want to see, I probably won't put a lot of time into making videos like this. But if you do enjoy this, let me know. Let me know that you'll continue to watch. Let me know that this is helpful. And let me know that this is a cool series idea to have here on the YouTube channel. If you have any questions at all about anything that I am doing on the store, let me know down in the comments below. I'll do my best to come through and answer them. There's a good chance though that some of them may be answered in future videos of the actual series. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next episode.